Thank you for letting me join this event, especially in the very last minute. Really appreciate that. Um, a little bit about myself. Um, a PhD student uh, at the School of Information in the University of British Columbia, Vancouver, Canada. My supervisor is Dr. Victoria Lemieux. And um, she has been specialized in researching blockchain in the past many years. And her, um, she focused on the records keeping uh, because her background is an archival scientist. And um, therefore she looked at the privacy um, information governance of blockchain. And my research um, influenced a lot by her focus as well, uh, which I find fascinated about. So for my research, uh, a little bit background about this. Uh, first, I, I came to the PhD program, I want to research blockchain application in the health data management. Uh, after many um, interaction with different uh, working groups, then I ended up um, supporting, uh, participating in the Trust Over IP, IP Organization Foundation. And um, in that work, I, um, uh, I participate um, becoming the lead in writing a paper about ecosystem, digital trust ecosystem. And I think this is a very um, interesting and pressing um, uh, topic currently because there's so many people talking about ecosystem. Almost all of the blockchain mention them as an ecosystem, but uh, nobody really defined what a digital ecosystem actually means. So therefore, I'm interested in uh, doing exactly that work. Um, want to understand what is actually a digital trust ecosystem and more important, how to sustain it. And as my focus is in the information part, so what is the role information in this system? Because when people think about blockchain governance, they tend to think about the governance of the technology and the governance of the human part of that. Um, a lot of most paper in blockchain governance focus on the consensus mechanism, all of the uh, technical part, and also how to make decision around um, um, uh, human decision making, but not much is uh, attention is paid on how to govern the, the information in a blockchain and um, put it further, how, how to govern information in an ecosystem. So my approach is that this is um, um, a small work right now. I look at the definitions and characteristics of ecosystem in uh, different fields, including um, uh, data management, which also have the concept of data ecosystem, business ecosystem, social ecosystem. Um, and when I look at that, uh, it's interesting to see that um, first, uh, all of the uh, fields uh, outside of biodiversity, when they look at ecosystem, they kind of use it in a metaphorical way without a, a clear definition of what they actually means by ecosystem. And all of them are kind of uh, newly emerged uh, up, up around mid 2010, about 2014 onward. And then I also have a, a closer look at the natural ecosystem to see the characteristics. And uh, my finding is that we, we have uh, some key concepts emerge from that, which first is decentralized and centralized, um, resilient, privacy, security, interoperability. And because the key difference between a natural ecosystem and all man-made ecosystem, to me, the most interesting thing is that in a natural ecosystem, there's a mechanism to counter counteract the uh, monopoly the over exploitation of the ecosystem. However, in our business ecosystem, data ecosystem, which is quite new, the, the concept of counteract over exploitation is not that much mentioned. Other than, um, instead of that, because all of the man-made ecosystem, we have the human agency in that ecosystem. So the role of power, culture and norms are very important. So therefore I argue that in, in order to sustain a digital ecosystem, we will need to create a mechanism to counteract monopoly and uh, the uh, over exploitation of the resource in that ecosystem. And that environment resources in the digital ecosystem is trust, 
And with that, I have some questions uh, that I hope to gather some opinions from the team that may guide my research further. That is first, uh, what, what could I overlook? What, what have I overlooked in, in the process of uh, reading and researching about this topic? Or are the concepts of reading that you would recommend me to read more? And also, I, I've been puzzling about what methods should I use to study ecosystem? Should I use, to, I'm, I'm more like qualitative side of research and should I go out and interview people about ecosystem or is there an interesting way that I can research ecosystem? And I'm very open for all of your opinion and feedback and comment. And I and thank you so much for this opportunity because I found the work of Kelsey um, who presented the first presenter and then about infrastructure quite related to my work as well and it would be great if we had chance to discuss and, um, and, 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 and collaborate sometimes in the future. Thank you very much.